okay? Hello, I'm just going to do a very quick video about what is edible in the nursery garden. Um, just a bit of identification so that you can do activities with these plants if you want to. So this one in the pot by the um, little bench is lemon balm. Probably know this one because it comes up everywhere. It's um, if you rub it, it's got a really lovely lemony smell, um, and it, it makes a really nice lemon drink. Actually, you can make like a herbal tea, or you can even make a sort of nice sort of cordial kind of summer drink with it. And then on the other side, we planted some um, pineapple mint. So if you rub the leaves, you find it is minty, but also quite pineapple-y and you've got some nice flowers here the flowers are also also quite edible um, so that's another thing that kids can eat and then if just take you around the pirate bed here so at the end we've got a lot of strawberries and basically just need to come back and um, pin down some of these runners but we've got lots of runners here so there's the possibility of um, maybe some of the kids taking strawberry plants home or doing that as a bit of an activity these just need to be basically placed into a pot, pinned down, and when the roots have really grown and you can cut off these runners here. Um, so this is a bit hidden next to the strawberries. Um, see the pink flowers here and these kind of leaves? And if you rub it, you'll probably guess what it is. It's oregano or margarine. Um, kind of herb that you use on pizzas. So that's a good one to try. Um, the flowers and the leaves are edible on that one. Uh, just so you know, this is a red currant that we've just popped in, so hopefully that will fruit next year. Uh, I've got a little bit of nasturtium left. There's loads of these in the allotment. If you want to go and get them and use them in some way, you can eat the leaves and you can eat the flowers. And they're very peppery and they're quite fun for the kids to try. A nice big rosemary, I'm sure you know this one. It's really good for smelling. Uh, same for the sage, lovely big purple sage, um, this one's chives as you probably know, there's lots of little seeds in here so maybe the kids can collect some of these seeds and sow them somewhere else in the school. And um, We've got a few of these plants here, um, let's try and get a leaf, the leaves have been a bit eaten that's fine. Uh, this is sorrel and if you taste a bit it's very lemony, very zingy. That was a really fun one to try with the kids. So there's a little plant here, and then got a really big plant here. So got lots to play with. Um, this plant here, with the blue flowers, is borage or star flower. The flowers are edible, so you can pull those off, and the kids can eat them. They taste slightly cucumbery. Um, they're also great for freezing in ice cubes. So um, what else we've got here? So hiding behind this borage, we've got some thyme. Again, a nice one to smell. Um, and actually, next to there is a bit of a rogue. I'm not quite sure where this has come from. Anyway, this is this is definitely mint. And it smells it smells like a chocolate mint to me. And that's really nice. It's got almost like a yeah mint chocolate chip smell. That's a lovely one. Um, mint, mint makes a great tea as well as being fun to taste. Um, so you might see a few of these sort of purpley, roughly plants here. That's all kale, so that's all edible. You might remember somebody made um, kale crisps last year. So we planted a few of those. We've been a bit eaten by slugs and snails, but I've taken as many slugs and snails out as I can. So we'll see. And then these are marigolds. So these flowers are edible as well. All the petals are edible. And salads don't really taste it very much. Again, they make a nice tea. People dry them and make them into um, healing skin oils as well. So that's more. We've got many more chives. So I do find the kids love these. So if maybe you can chop up some and they can have a go eating them. Um, and then yes, you've just got all of this lovely lavender here. Again, can make a nice tea, it's edible and it smells great. And that's it.